She's not 42, she's 48. Megan is freaking out because the latest PR photo shows her looking really pathetic. Hello everyone, welcome to my Royal Family News YouTube channel. Friends, I think we have seriously overestimated the skills of Meghan Markle's PR people. I mean, everything they post doesn't help. They just make her look more and more like a laughingstock and more and more pathetic. So let's talk about the latest backgrid photo posted last night. The photo shows Megan was spotted driving her car for the second time in less than a week. Oh yeah, interesting news, huh? This time she stopped to buy food at in and out I end the photo, taken at in and out a fast food joint near Megan and Harry's Montecito home, he wore his usual Rick disgrunt as he waited for his food behind the wheel of his Black Range 140,000 Rover. Megan wore sunglasses and had her hair pulled back into a ponytail. Apparently she drove there a few miles away, before, I guess, going to that $18 million Malibu estate that she and Harry were supposed to visit recently. Okay, now some people are claiming that this photo was taken by a fan who works there. Well, it's an interesting theory, but one I don't believe in at all. I mean, do employees who work at a fast food restaurant usually bring a long lens camera with them to work every day? Is this part of their uniform at in and out And who was looking at Megan like crazy, if not the cameras? Or were supposed to believe that a photographer was inside and they were waiting to take her picture as she approached? Oh, come on, there's no way in the world, in and out I think in and out is a pretty decent company, you cannot allow a staff member to take a photo of a user unless the customer approves. And interestingly, we have views from every angle imaginable. Isn't it interesting though, how can we see only Meghan's pat pics while someone else in the British royal family or Harry is in the news for doing something else? Ugh, he does that every time Harry gets attention. And they both do it whenever William or Catherine receives positive media attention, oh, Megan must be very grateful to have been photographed by all those photographers who weren't told she would be there before. Of course, it would be terrible if anyone thought Megan was trying to upstage her husband who gets better publicity than she does. Because he's actually working on something important. Megan is a little different though. She only wants to make money which she thinks she is entitled to, it's amazing how we'll go months without seeing any photos of Meghan. But as soon as someone in the royal family or Harry has an event, oh, there it is. A really interesting coincidence. And poor Meghan, she can't help it. He needs this attention, it's his fuel. She can't let Harry make headlines without her. Ugh, what a pathetic existence, my god. And in these new photos, I don't know what's going on, but Meghan Markle is really starting to show her age, isn't she? I mean, he looks at least 46 or 47 years old, I've never seen a 42-year-old with deep wrinkles. Her age is really catching up with her. And you know, Meghan, if you haven't made it to Hollywood yet, I'm sorry, honey, but it's time to let go of the dream you'll never achieve. Meghan's only claim to fame is marrying a stupid prince. I know what they're trying to do with all these high-profile public outings, but at least on me they're having the opposite effect, this makes me suspect that the separation announcement will come soon. They both seem to be on a mission to attract attention that doesn't include the other, which is incredibly different from the trendy days they've been selling us since they met. You know, sometimes I think Harry had everything he really wanted from Buckingham Palace until Meghan told him he didn't have enough. She was the one who told him that his family should give him more, and they were such horrible people that they didn't appreciate it. When he said he thought his grandmother, father, brother, and sister-in-law seemed to like him, she listed all the ridiculous reasons why they actually looked down on him. Of course, these reasons were made up, and I'm sure it gave Harry pause. I mean, he tried to think, but Meghan Markle obviously couldn't afford any other thoughts which could lead Harry to believe that his family really loved him because they loved him. Then he pressed the stop button and didn't let go. As I have been saying for almost half a decade now, Harry and Meghan should not be understood as a single entity. They are still two separate people, however, it was never about what Harry wants. Harry didn't really care about money. I mean, he had access to more than he needed. 
Meghan Markle, however, is incredibly selfish. She is greedy and intrusive, she clung to Harry and told him they should expect more from Buckingham Palace. The point is that what they want has to be separate because they don't want the same things. When you look at what happened right after their marriage, once the ring was on Meghan's finger, they were never really a couple with the same goals. So to answer the question, no, they didn't make their decisions when it came to what they wanted. Harry really wanted nothing and Meghan wanted everything, and when it came to Harry, he wanted to be with someone who would love him, give him a few children and a son. And then, he could start developing in his free time the areas he thought he would focus on. Someone like Catherine. But instead he got Meghan, and she's the exact opposite of what he actually needed. But she was the first woman he had had sex with and who seemed to want to marry him, and look what it's become now. He is supposed to be a father, but he never takes his children out of the family compound. He doesn't take them for bike rides. They don't go to swimming lessons. I don't even think that if the children are real, they won't even go to kindergarten, and once again, the most tragic thing would be if these children had no family in their lives. Now Harry doesn't want the palace to clean up its mess. He and he alone is responsible for what he does. His behavior, his thoughts, his truth, whatever he says. Now maybe he was manipulated by Meghan, I'm sure, but he's a grown man, so he had the ability to reject the path that Meghan encouraged. Well, he didn't want to do it. He followed his ideas and was more than willing. It's a complicated question. It involves the psychology of a few people who have lived their lives in very different ways, different ways from each other, in fact, but also from the way most of us choose to live our lives. Buckingham Palace protects Harry. I mean, we didn't know anything about that side of him. We are responsible for our behavior and the things we say. And Harry showed himself to be a traitor by his behavior. After Meghan managed to seduce Harry, that's when the brainwashing began, I think he used drugs to make it easier to control him. She manipulated him into becoming her puppet. Now, Meghan's next step would, of course, be to try to convince someone else to look for a new victim. But it will be difficult for her because everyone already knows her. Its reputation really precedes it, Everyone knows she's toxic and no one wants to deal with her. And Meghan will want revenge. I don't care how high he reaches on the ladder of success. He will blame Harry for causing the world to ridicule them in recent years. It is important that no one underestimates a narcissist's thirst for revenge, don't even understand how they got married. I mean, I kind of do. Meghan Markle scammed Harry. But now it's so clear that they want different things in life. Meghan wants money, he wants glory. He wants constant attention. And I think Harry just wants peace and quiet. He wants to live his life away from the spotlight. I don't think this relationship will ever last. On the contrary, Meghan will leave Harry because they can no longer make much money together. I know some of you may not always have time to read all the comments under my videos so we'll take a look together. We will now look at the comments in response to Moneyball Megan. I enjoyed reading them and I hope you enjoyed them too. I really like this comment from Hans Last UK, no offense to the Kardashians, especially since I've never seen anything from them, but Megan had the opportunity to mingle with world leaders, members of the royal family, fashion houses, famous artists, etc. but because of his arrogance, ignorance, and shameful behavior. She's lost everything and the best she can hope for is to be friends with a reality TV family. I understand that the Kardashians work very hard, and Meghan doesn't. Isn't the world we live in now strange? Someone who was a king or still is in your opinion? I don't know. I can't keep up with him but now he hangs out with reality stars and just wants to be on the same level as them. In fact, I'm way above her wow, we couldn't make this stuff up if we tried. Most of the comments I share, I share them because I find them absolutely hilarious, the next one isn't funny at all, but it's still very important and makes a lot of sense. This is from user, uh, ET2, I don't know, a few letters, but whatever. We can read it together.
It's the hardest thing to grieve in public and do what needs to be done in front of the whole world. I was so proud of King Charles, Queen Camilla and the Prince and Princess of Wales for holding on through that terrible week when the late Queen went to heaven. A year ago, double rainbows appeared over Balmoral Castle, Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle, marking the ascension to heaven of our beautiful Queen Elizabeth II. We were lucky to have her as Queen for over 70 years. Queen Elizabeth II could light up any city with her adorable smile. She was just wonderful and I will love and miss her until the day I die. I will never forget the Queen's last appearance on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. It was an act of will, because the Queen was already in a wheelchair and could only take a few steps in great pain, as she was dying of multiple myeloma. The Queen did not want to disappoint the millions of people who loved her and got up from her wheelchair to greet us and give us a lovely smile with Prince George at her side. Stress must be avoided with multiple myeloma and the Queen went to heaven six months earlier than expected. I will never forget how disgustingly HVEM treated our beautiful Queen while she was dying. Ugh, people, I cried reading this, I mean, it's a beautiful tribute, so thank you so much for sharing it. And you are right. I don't think the world will ever forget what an extraordinary woman she was, and I don't think anyone can replace her. And I think it will be incredibly difficult for anyone to forgive, and we will certainly never forget what Harry and Meghan did. All right, the next comment I'll share comes from Abigail. Harry was already famous and he let his wife lead him into the pursuit of that elusive fame she wants but will never have. Today, a large number of people have no respect for him, let alone for her. It's like watching the toilet flush as these two fade into nothingness. Actually. I mean, it's really crazy to step back and remember who Harry was and how far he fell. And as for Meghan, well, she went from being a nobody to being a nobody. You are right, he will never achieve the fame he dreams of. And I think that's because it's not just about fame, I mean, it also has infamy. Not only does she want everyone to know her, but she wants everyone to like her. What's wrong with her? Why is she so obsessed with trying to act much younger than she actually is? Why can't we just enjoy the good things that happen as we get older? I mean, honestly, if you told me I had the chance to go back to 20, I wouldn't even take it. I love the wisdom I gain as I get older. It's entertainment, I am Harry and Meghan's biggest fan. I think this film is a wonderful idea. I know I would watch it and I imagine you would too. All right, folks, that's all the time we have. So I want to hear your opinions, as always please let me know what you think below in the comments section. And if you find my videos useful, please like and share them with your friends and family who might like them. And apart from that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any updates from the Royal Family News Team. Thank you very much for listening. I wish you a nice day and we will visit you in the next videos.